What's up, nerdlings? What is up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for good-looking consoles? Oh, yeah. We were tagged by Mark the Shark to talk about our top five <laughs> best looking consoles. I would like to tag a couple people. Um, first tag I'm going to do is uh, Do You Nerd? I would like to hear your input on your uh, best looking top five of your best looking consoles. Like our opinion, what are some consoles that doesn't matter what they play, how they play, what era they came out in. How well they did. Yeah, it's all about the looks, so let's talk about some gorgeous consoles. Well, by all means, ladies first. I chose the Atari with the pastel buttons. Oh, that nice Atari XE that we found still boxed from an estate sale. Okay, I'm very excited to see what's going on. Can you guys this... see this? Oh, that was a good oh, noise. So sorry. This system the plastics. has not been used. It is the one thing that I really liked about this one, I've always been fascinated by the fact that they just decided to use pastel buttons. And then the other thing that I really liked about it are the clean lines. I just love the clean lines like up here where you've got just these nice diagonal lines where the vent port is. Just the straight clean lines on the front, even on the back, on the bottom of it. I mean, you, I don't know, there's just something about it. And then these weird like triangle, the way they've triangle triangularly put the ports in there. I don't know. I just liked it. Is very clean and crisp and clean and no caffeine generally you don't see a lot of color in consoles you know they use a lot of muted or base colors but yeah popping the buttons out with those pastel colors i mean that, that's kind of a bold statement all right what about you what's your first pick well i'm going to have to go with something a little bit nostalgic the super nintendo now i know that a lot of people really love the rounded look of the pal systems or the super famicom but that blocky straight edge design of the super nintendo with the gray all around or if you're lucky to still have your system be gray and not <laughs> yellowed and just a couple of accent points like the darker gray eject button and then the purple buttons right there it's so simple, but it's streamlined, like the lines themselves. I was going to say, it feels like they tried to go more streamlined, whereas the NES was very squared off. This one, they tried to round it a little bit and soften it up. Well, my next console, we didn't get over here. We had to import this bad boy. But I love orange. So when I found out there was an orange GameCube, I had to, I had to have you find one for me. Double shout out to Rocker Gaming because one, we bought this system from him and he was nice enough to set aside some fun modifications to make sure it plays whatever we want it to play mm -hmm. GameCube wise. And don't you love that jewel on top? I do. Definitely the jewel of the system itself. Ooh. Quick question, we do have the Game Boy Player attachment on the bottom, mm -hmm. but we have just the standard black one. I know that there's an orange one. Would you do the orange or do you like the offset coloring? I like the offset coloring because Halloween is my favorite holiday and it, it's very Halloween-y. Besides, you've got the black handle in the back and you know the black jewel case on top, so I feel like it pulls the whole system together having that black offset. Okay, whew, because that part could be a little pricey to find. Oh, I still want it. I just don't want it on there. Right. <laughs> right. All right, sir. Number two for you. Well, these are really in no particular order for me. So I went with the Sega Dreamcast. Sega! I sense balance has been restored. Now, I have always loved how it's, it's a blocky design, but they did like round the edges off. It's 
like you took something like the GameCube, but then just like kind of smoothed out those corners, you know, maybe so you didn't put an eye out. Makes me think of a UFO, like the door. I could see that, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now it is just that simple off-white coloring with just a shade of gray yeah. accented there. And then of course you've got that Dreamcast swirl. I love that Dreamcast swirl. You know, just the simplicity. Again, kind of like the Super Nintendo. Maybe that's why I was drawn to it. I also like how compact it is too. Kind of like the GameCube. It didn't take up a whole lot of space on your Ooh, shelves. Very true. And it still doesn't, which is nice. Back to Lady Lacey. Back to me. I thought I'd go a little smaller this time with my <laughs> DS that looks like the Nintendo NES controller. The only thing that I don't like about this one is I wish that the design was flipped so that when it's open, it's not upside down. Good call, yes. Obviously, I get why they put it the way that they did because when it's closed, you don't want it upside mm -hmm. down. But yeah, once you open it up, it gets a little weird. I love it because, I mean, it's it's got that very awesome controller look. And then when you open it up, you've got the buttons that match the color of the buttons on the controller. And, you know, it's just a fun little system. You know, when it comes to the DS and 3DS line anyway, there were so many variants. There were. I mean, you could do videos upon videos just picking the best looking ones of those. Mm -hmm. You know which one we need to get next? The Super Nintendo one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really love the design of the PS2, and we're talking the OG. So Huge! give me that <laughs> fat PS2. First of all, the towering feel of it with those straight lines along the edge. That fell over and murdered somebody. I actually, you know, it's really not that heavy. It, I think it's lighter than the Dreamcast. It just looks like it though. I always loved how you could have it horizontally on your shelf or you could stand it up vertically. So it would play okay like this? Yes, although some people would claim that they would have some issues with it and that it would be a little more rough on the discs. Back in the day, this was such a novel concept because it would fit very nicely on your entertainment center mm -hmm. beside the TV or something. Yeah, that's true. But honestly, more often than not, I kept it horizontal because I was used to my consoles being like that. <laughs> And that one last little touch, of course, if you want know, the unit that. vertically, you just... So cute. Switch that PlayStation logo. Somebody was thinking. They really were. <laughs> I've always loved the color scheme of the PlayStation 2. Yeah, you know, it's a very subtle gradient of colors mm -hmm. and it adds just a little bit of coloring to the otherwise black system but because of that, it really pops. Same with the reset and eject buttons. Mm -hmm. Having just those accents of color really changes it all. Uh-huh. Well, the next console is less to do with the console itself and all to do with the gamepad. This one we're definitely sharing, wouldn't you say? Yeah. As far as one we really like? You know, I mean, we were always going to pick up a Wii U at some point back in the day. As soon as they released the Zelda-themed one, we were on it. Something that I've really loved about it is, one, you've got that awesome symbol on there, but then you've just got, like, just really pretty decorative around the outside of it. It's, I don't know, I, I was just really drawn to it. The gold on the black looks so sharp. It's kind of like some of those older systems, foreshadowing, that used it as an accent. And we have something extra special for this one, don't we? Yes, to keep it looking nice, we made sure to get the console sleeve for it. And this console sleeve is cool because we don't have to hide how cool the console looks because it's on the outside of the desk sleeve. I will leave a link in the description below as to where we get these lovely console sleeves. Of course, they keep all the dust and everything off of your console. They keep them from being sun faded yes. and the dust out of there. And they can still be played for the most part and hooked up with them on. You don't have to take this off, hook everything back up when you're done playing. 
unhook everything, put the sleeve back on. No, it's perfect. It's ready to go. And as you can see, they have so many different kinds of variants of the various console protectors that if you have something cool like this and you don't want to hide it away, you don't have to. Going back to my GameCube, don't they have one that is long enough to cover the GameCube and the player? They do. Yeah. Pretty much anything that you're looking for, you can find it. You know, all too often in lists such as this, people will have an honorable mention, maybe something that didn't quite make the criteria or make the cut. This time around, let's do a dishonorable mention. What'd you bring a VCR up here for? <laughs> <laughs> you would think so, but this is one of the variations of the Philips CDI. To be <laughs> fair, obviously, they wanted this to be more of a multimedia platform instead of just a gaming console. But when you strip that part away and you think of it just as a gaming console, this thing's ridiculous. First of all, it's absolutely huge. It is. I'm sure, I think we had VCRs smaller than this. <laughs> and on top of that, it's just boring and ugly looking. And it's heavy. Yeah, watch your toes around this one, people. Or your animals. <laughs> All right, well, my last console is my favorite console. <laughs> I can safely say that one. All the other ones, there was no particular order that I did that one in, but this one I did save for last. That would be my Switch Lite. This thing is so awesome. It's so handy. I literally, from the day it came out, I have taken it everywhere with me. And the th main reason that I bought it was because of the color. I immediately, when you told me that there were going to be colored consoles and you told me this color particularly, I ran out and pre-ordered it without knowing a dead gum thing about it. And I will honestly admit, I did not know it couldn't plug into the TV until after we picked it up. At first I was upset about that, but I have not missed being able to plug it into the TV ever since. But there's something about that teal color. It is one of my all time favorite colors. I have so many things prior to this in that color. Which is exactly why I told her that it was coming out in this color, even though I knew 100% that meant she would have to have it. But you were so kind as to let me get it. And the other thing that I love about this is you can customize them all, even though the Joy-Cons can't come off. I have so many different thumbstick covers. I can make it my own and you can also change out the covers the case on it to change it out to make it more your own. So a lot of people think it wouldn't customizable, but it is. So that's another reason I love it. And on the cover itself, you can find ones that are a little more ergonomical as well, too, mm -hmm. that give like a better grip to mm -hmm. trying to hold on to. It. And that's the one kind of what I went with. It had bump outs on it, so it makes it easier to hang on to being smaller. What about you? What is your last, maybe not least but last system definitely this is not my favorite i don't think this is the most gorgeous console of all time but i could not resist sharing the bally arcade now Oy. this obviously came out in a time of wood grain gold trim and that black lacquer plus you have this smoky plastic cover on the top which serves absolutely no purpose. It's a dust cover. Other than being a dust cover <laughs> for your games. Regardless, it still looks so sharp when it's you know on a shelf, when you have it out on display. The numerical pad here still looks like a calculator to me. <laughs> I feel like someone just kind of glued a calculator cover in there and they're like, oh uh, yeah, that looks futuristic, go with that. I do like this design though, because I think it's pretty genius for them to have made a place in the console to store the games. That is Not true. a lot of them did that. Some did, some didn't. And I mean, I will say this does scream 70s. It definitely has those 70s lines to it. But I like sci-fi and futuristic stuff, so I actually really like the way this one looks too because it looks so futuristic. I probably would have gone for it in the store just because of that. Now, if you want to talk screaming 70s, take a look oh. at a screenshot from the box. Look at that television. That console TV, the way everyone's dressed. Oh, they're having a good time. 
<laughs> hey, don't you remember in the 80s and early 90s when that became a piece of furniture and you put a working television on top of it? Ah, or, you know, even beyond that, if you were a redneck. You know you're a redneck if you come from a rural area and behave as such. Now, the Bally Arcade went through a couple of name changes, such as the Bally Astrocade, and in many instances, there were different variations of the system. For example, the sleek white console. Which I don't like as much. You know, I don't either, but I think part of the reason why I'm drawn to the wood grain and gold trim is because that feels more like what we had growing up. So even though I didn't grow up with the Bally, there's still that nostalgia with it because mm -hmm. it kind of looks like the Atari. It embraces you. It says, hey, let's play some awful home arcade ports. <laughs> The other fun thing about the Bally Arcade, if you're not very familiar with the system, you've at least seen it before because everybody loves National Lampoon's vacation. They planned their vacation using the Bally Arcade. Go. There's us, and there's Wally World. Oh, watch out, family truckster. <laughs> Rusty, please do not eat the truckster. Rest your mind. There you go, nerdlings. It just goes to show sometimes it doesn't even matter about the games or the technical power behind a console. Sometimes it's just how good it looks. And hey, catching the eye, that's usually the first way they get you anyway. Now, this is supposed to be a tag video, and I first and foremost want to throw out an open tag. Yes. Guys, if you have some consoles in your collection, you know, whether they're handhelds, modern, retro, anything, if you think they look great and you want to share them, please do so. Feel free to do a response to this video. Drop a link in the comments down below once you have that video up so us and everybody else can come watch and see what you chose as your beautiful consoles. If we did have to tag some people though, you know, I would really like to see what uh, maybe Sega Head would come up to. I know he's taking a break, but... We know we're... you're not gone. You said you were gone, but I'm going to do my power to bring you back. With just the Dreamcast being the only Sega system here, maybe uh, maybe you'd like to shed some light on you know, how gorgeous some of the other systems look. Maybe the Master System. So, you know, whenever you decide to come on back or anything, there you're you go. Coming back. You got something to film. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know how many he has with him currently. I know some of that stuff gets stored away, but BK, I know that uh, I know that he can appreciate that valley for one. So, he probably has some fun systems that he thought were some lookers. So, buddy, if you feel like doing a response video to show off some of those sexy systems you have, let us know. You know, I think I would like to see Linda, a.k.a. the Gamer Girls, picks on this one. What do you think? Yeah, let's see what uh, she thinks are some good looking systems. How about JLove81? I know she's got a good game room there. Let's see what you've got. Oh, a collection like that, she's got to have some nice, nice looking consoles. Once again, nerdlings, if you happen to leave a response video, please share the link to that video down below. Leave some comments about any of these systems or just the systems that you thought looked the best in your opinion. And give the video a like if you have to like it. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're a subscriber. We've got videos coming out all the time after all. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on that retro refresh if we like it. We nerd it for consoles. No matter how they look. Well, with all this talk, let's go play some. Hello, I'm Oe, and I'm a PlayStation Three. I like go karts. Vroom vroom. Like the like. Blah, 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 blah. Ready? I was moistening my mouth. <laughs> Old man, moistening your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, ready? That's gonna sound gross. <laughs> well, don't use it. Well, this one, if I drop, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh. Don't kill the cat. Now. Meow. <laughs> oh, bye bye, Paul.